The solar system is the planetary system of the sun, which the sun is the center, while the planets, dwarf planets, asteroids, comets, meteoroids, and small solar system bodies orbit around the sun. Here, we will talk about the sun and the eight planets in descending order, sorted from the closest to the furthest to the sun, which include Mercury. Venus, the Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. By the way, Pluto is categorized as a dwarf planet since August 24, 2006, by the International Astronomical Union in Prague, Czech Republic. The planets, except the Earth, are named after the names of the Greek gods and goddesses. As there is the belief that the gods and goddesses are in the heaven and deserve to be worshipped. At the beginning, there were only five planets that can be seen by the naked eyes, which include Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. While the two outermost planets, Uranus and Neptune, were found later by using telescopes. You can click on the menu in the next section on the button below. Please select from the top background information, history, discovery, and methodology, physical characteristics, size, mass, natural satellites, and composition. The relationship of the solar system refers to the orbital distance. Mass and size comparison. The Earth or the world is the third planet from the Sun. The Earth is the densest planet and also the largest of the four rocky planets in the solar system. Earth is the only planet known to have living things, as the Earth is in the suitable distance from the Sun with the average temperature 15 degrees Celsius, which creates the living things on Earth. The Earth has water, which is the vital element for all the big things. Seventy percent of the Earth's surface is covered by water. The Earth rotates once in about 24 hours, which causes daytime and nighttime. The Earth takes 365.26 days to orbit around the Sun. Therefore, every four years we add up to 366 days to simplify the calendar. The Earth moves in an elliptical orbit around the Sun, and the inclination of the Earth's axis is the result of the various seasons. The Earth's atmosphere consists of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Mean diameter: 12,742.02 kilometers. Surface area: 510 million 72,000 square kilometers. Land area: 148 million 940,000 square kilometers. Approximately 29.2 percent of the surface here. Water area: 361 million 132,000 square kilometers. Approximately 70.8 percent of the surface of the Earth. Volume: 1.08321 times 10 to the 12. Cubic kilometers mass 5.7219 times 10 to the 24 kilograms mean density 5.514 grams per cubic centimeter surface gravity 9.807 meters per square second axial tilt 23.5 degrees 26 arc minutes 21.4119 arc seconds surface temperature minimum. Negative 89.2 degrees Celsius. Mean 15 degrees Celsius. Maximum 56.7 degrees Celsius. Composition: Nitrogen 78.08 percent. Oxygen 70.95 percent. Argon 0.93 percent. Carbon dioxide 0.039 percent. Neon 0.002 percent. Earth. When starting the size of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and the Moon of the Earth from the 
graphic, but then it's represented in relative portions of the actual week. It can be seen that the Earth is the largest rocky planet. Therefore, it has the proper gravity in the atmosphere of the Earth, trapping heat from the sun, which makes the Earth has the proper temperature as well as the water that are the important combination for an organism of living things. The Earth formed about 4,600 million years ago from the explosion of the Sun. At the beginning, it broke out from the Sun into the dust, but due to the gravitational pull of the Sun, the dust floated around the Sun. The dust is only 1% of the mass of the Sun. Over hundreds of millions of years, the dust began to form together into eight spherical shaped planets. The first four are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They are sorted by the distance of their orbit around the Sun, and four of them are rocky planets, or terrestrial planets. Later on, the surface of the Earth slowly cooled down, which lasts for millions of years with the internal heat. Therefore, deep underground of the Earth consists of melted elements. The diameter of the Earth is about 4,500 miles. And the inside of the Earth has the temperature around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The surface of the Earth is covered by clouds and gases, which evaporated into water vapor and floated up in the air. Then they dropped and fallen as the rain into the Earth cooled down and able to keep the water in the form of lakes and rivers. It was assumed that the first living creature was a single cell living thing. It was born in the sea about 303,900 million years ago. Relationship The Earth When starting the size of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and the moon of the Earth from the graphic, the planets represent in relative portions of the actual week. It can be seen that the Earth is the largest rocky planet. Therefore, it has the proper gravity in the atmosphere of the Earth, trapping heat from the sun, which makes the Earth has the proper temperature as well as the water that are the important combination for an organism of the Earth. formed about 4,600 million years ago from the explosion of the sun. At the beginning, it broke out from the sun into the dust, but due to the gravitational pull of the sun, the dust floated around the sun. The dust is only 1% of the mass of the sun. Over hundreds of millions of years, the dust began to form together into eight spherical shaped planets. The first four are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They are sorted by the distance of their orbit around the Sun, and four of them are rocky planets, or terrestrial planets. Later on, the surface of the Earth slowly cooled down, which lasts for millions of years with the internal heat. Therefore, deep underground of the Earth consists of melted elements. The diameter of the Earth is about 4,500 miles, and the inside of the Earth has the temperature around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The surface of the Earth is covered by clouds and gases, which evaporated into water vapor and floated up in the air. Then they dropped and fallen as the rain into the Earth cooled down and able to keep the water in the form of lakes and rivers. It was assumed that the first living creature was a single cell living thing. It was born in the sea about 303,900 million years ago.